Hi, I'm Mark Camosio, Gun Mark TV. And we've got quite a, an important rifle here, um, which is just one of the hottest air guns at the moment. This is the brand new S510 Tactical from Air Arms. And uh, yeah, we've had the sort of ballpup um, uh, trend with where your action set towards the back of the stock, etc. That's still ongoing. But the big other trend at the moment is for sort of military inspired. Um, adjustable um, air guns. If that side of the market um, it, it appeals, then you've now got a, a, an air arms option, which for a lot of shooters, you know, means a hell of a lot. And uh, it's, I have to say, it's a very well thought out air gun. So let's look at it in more detail. I say everything that you can see here is part of the standard gun, bar the scope and mounts, which we've fitted, but everything else is as it's gonna come. There'll be some slight changes, um, subtle changes that I should mention um, with the production rifle, but as as it comes, it's, this is how it is. So you're going to have an integral um, oversized moderator like that. Now, at the moment, this one isn't detachable that we've had through on test because it's still semi-prototype, but I'm assured by the factory that the new, when you get it, the silencer will be removable um, to, to clean, etc. And then you've, you're moving back, you've got a, a shrouded barrel, um, you've got the, the usual ultra safe T-bar style of air arms, you know, this is it's the safest one on the market in my view. You put, it, put your air line on, it locks into place. So obviously that's all um, sort of familiar from the S510 as it comes. Uh, moving through here, you've got now the a uh, chassis here with which is obviously the M lock style um, fore end, and obviously you can lock uh, um, accessories, all manner of accessories, into any of those slots, and then using the sort of T, T nut style M lock um, option. And it's yeah, it just gives you loads of versatility. Uh, you've got the, the the forward grip handle there. Again, you can move position on that. Uh, moving back. You've got brand new breech block here, integral Picatinny rails, as you can see there, it's all part of it. Um, the under part is also all new, and you've got um, your, your manometer set into that, so you can keep a check on pressures. You've got the familiar two-stage trigger, which is from the S510 series. Um, obviously, we don't like the safety, that's still there, but that's a minor detail here. You've got there now the... Um, Looking to the rear, it, it's an interesting point that I should mention here that the, the none of this chassis, um, if you sort of view it as a chassis stock, none of the stock actually connects with the cylinder. So it's still, the, the, the action is still fixed via one stock screw. Now that's an important point because further down the line, um, the factory are, you know, air arms are planning on supplying this uh, whole chassis stock system as an, a retrofit optional extra to uh, any F S400 or 510 derivative um, owners. I think you've got to, your gun's got to be 2010 onwards, I think, for that to be compatible, but that's further down the line. Um, but it's an interesting point there. Now, so he's got a very nice sort of AR compatible drop-down grip. Um, and then moving back, you've got the um, sort of buffer tube system, classic sort of uh, military style and all this rear assembly. <clears throat> now the grip and the rear assembly, they're all made by an American company, Magpul, and that they were sort of deemed, you know, the quality was up to air arms as standard. So they're, they're, they're bringing these in and it's all part of the system. Um, now while we're on this, obviously, we might, well, it, it's fully adjustable, which is a great part of the system. So you just pull that internal lever up and then you can alter the length of pull. Obviously, on quite a big build, so you bring that out to the maximum. But you can keep. You can see it stops there. Now, the, the neat bit of this design, um, and you know what a lot of the rivals haven't got. You've also got a tensioner there, so you press that up. Once you're happy with the position, and then that's rock solid. It's not rattling about, and you know some of the rivals, it's very rattly. So that's that's very nice attention to detail. Um, there's a rubber plate on the back. I personally, I'd have liked uh, you know, and some sort of adjustable butt pad would have been nice. But um, as it comes, yeah, it is at least rubber there. But uh, yeah, you've, the fact that you can tailor that and get that in, so length of pull you can get just right, 
Um, that's that's a big feature and a big plus point um, with this this style of gun. Um, <clears throat> now other action wise so we've got it's built around the s510 um, system now this is a regulated action we should mention that because obviously it's key and you're, you're paying for the for the privilege of that but this is the i think series 7 air arms regulator on test i mean i've had um they're quoting i think it's 90 shots in 177 and 120 in 22 this is 22 on test i had almost to the shot 120 um, shots now the first 70 I think was seven feet per second variation which is pretty phenomenal obviously it depends on your pellet but just for my testing and then 120 shots it was 12 feet per second overall that's pretty superb um, you'll never you know you'll never see any difference down range with that so phenomenal consistency and that was borne out with the accuracy you'll see our groups we'll show you the groups but I've had ragged clusters at 30 yards and then 40 yards so this is the whole point with this. You've got the integrity of a top class air arms action um, that that's, this, this whole system's built around. Then you've got all the versatility and adjustability that comes with the, um, the sort of AR compatible um, chassis system. So yeah, it's, 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 it's quite an impressive gun. So that's the S510 Tactical. So obviously as part of the, because it's the S510 action, you've got a really nice silky um, side lever system. But obviously with this you'll notice the tactical gets a special drop down um, style side lever. Just it sort of all helps the um, sort of faster cycling. Um, the one point to mention actually here is that I've been assured by again Air Arms that on the production gun, because this is one of the sort of prototypes, uh, although it's very near to the final. Um, on the production gun it's going to be a matte finish to the cylinder as opposed to the chemical bluing you see in there but um, yeah it's all just going to be more practical um, you know even more practical so got this nice side lever so a very reliable system the current air arms 10 shot magazine system so you pull the lever back and then from the left side your <coughs> magazine comes out and that's the classic uh, cartridge start now with this what I like about these is it's not a spot it's um you can it's from either direction so you can just turn the drum left or right and then drop your pellets in but it just makes it very simple you know some of these systems out there are just are overly complicated and they, they work okay but this there's something just very refreshingly simple about this it's nicely made and um, but you know it works so we do that and then the magazine snaps in from the, the left hand side put it in and thereafter you've got 10 shots ready to go so <clears throat> just give that a go So as you can see, it's um, you can basically cock and um, fire it all you know, with that side lever system. You can cock and fire it all in situ from the shoulder, um, and it's just everything's where you want it. And it's very very silky to use, um, you know, in practice. So yeah, it's it's, it's a lovely rifle. Um, if you if you're after that sort of tactical style, then um, you, you've got everything you need here. Um, it's always been a pleasure testing air gun, um, testing air on stuff because they are, you know, inherently accurate. Um, so off, you know, most of the time, and um, that was thirty yards. I mean, they'd always look larger than they actually are. But that's thirty yards there, and that was forty yards. So we just, you know, these are serious, just enlarged holes, and uh, yeah, it was quite easy to come by. All shot from a rest, I don't deny, but um, yeah, it's, it's good.